At around 3 p.m. on Tuesday, October 28th, Delhi's skies became the stage for a scientific experiment never seen before in India, a cloud seeding trial aimed at cleaning the city's toxic air. A small aircraft, the Cessna 206H, took off from IIT Kanpur's airstrip, flew across Meerut and entered Delhi's airspace. Its mission to turn the clouds above Burari, Mayur Vihar and Karol Bagh into a tool for pollution control. For our viewers information today post the experiment Delhi's AQI remains in very poor category now the aircraft released eight pyrotechnic flares each weighing about 2 kgs loaded with special salts designed to trigger rainfall these flares dispersed silver iodide and sodium chloride substances that act as tiny particles around which water vapor condenses So if all goes well these particles grow into raindrops and fall washing away harmful pollutants like PM 2.5 and PM 10 that choke Delhi's air every winter. Now Delhi's environment minister Manjinder Singh Sirsa called it a scientific attempt to reduce pollution the first large scale experiment of its kind in the country. He also said that light rains were expected within hours of the test and if successful the trials will continue through February. But what exactly is cloud seeding? Scientists from the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology explain that cloud seeding is a weather modification technique developed in the 1940s. It involves injecting clouds with seed particles to enhance rainfall. These can be salts or silver compounds released by aircraft, rockets or drones. However, not all clouds are suitable for seeding. Experts say the method only works if there's enough moisture and cloud depth conditions that Delhi rarely enjoys during winter. Globally cloud seeding has been used to combat droughts not pollution. The idea is that rain naturally captures pollutants as droplets fall through the air in a process known as coagulation. But experts warn the effect is short-lived. Here is what the director of IIT Kanpur said about the experiment. Yeah, so we did not get uh, a lot of cloud moisture. It was only around 15%. so with that low moisture content the possibility of making it rain is very small so we did not did not achieve success from that perspective but still uh, we uh, got a lot of very useful information and not only that uh, we had set up 15 stations at different parts of delhi to measure the level of air pollution the level of moisture etc so our data shows that there has been some reduction between 6 to 10% in pm 2.5 and pm 10 concentration so which shows that even with a very small or low level of moisture in the clouds when we do the seeding it does result in some impact not uh, the impact that one would ideally like to see but uh, still some impact and that's an extremely useful information or data for us in order to plan our future seeding experiments so there have been political statements which are raising questions on the expenditure of this whole process that was it worth it because the expenditure happened but the rain did happen what do you have to say on the expense and in the upcoming future do you think that it's going to reduce so the very name that it is an experiment implies that it can be successful and it may also not be successful so that is the very nature of any scientific endeavor and uh, if we fear failure and because of that we don't undertake the experiment then we will not make progress having said that if you look at the overall cost today we did a seeding of about 300 square kilometer area the overall cost of that in my very rough estimate would be somewhere around 60 odd lakh rupees which translates to somewhere around 20000 rupees odd per square kilometer and if we do a seeding for 1000 square kilometer this 20000 will become 2 crore and if we do seeding over the entire winter period which is 4 months and we assume on average we get clouds in once in 10 days then this 2 crore becomes uh somewhere around 30 odd crores 25 30 crores 
So that in the overall scheme of things is not a very large amount. The amount of money that is spent in pollution control in Delhi is much, much higher. One last question on 29th of October, will the process continue? How many sorties are you expecting? How many rounds of launch will you make? Yeah, so uh, we expect to do two more sorties today. Uh, we are also expecting slightly better moisture content in the cloud, finger crossed. So hopefully, we will have better results. But uh, only the actual seeding process and future will tell how much we succeed. Sir, can you please throw a light on the process of this entire process? Uh, so, what happens during seeding is that uh, we inject a uh, very finely ground mixture of common salt, rock salt and silver iodide into the cloth. I should point out at this stage that the mixture we are using is our own. Generally, the mixture that is used is really not a mixture, it is only silver iodide that is used. But our uh, researchers have come up with a somewhat novel mixture and we inject it into the clouds. Around each tiny particle, water starts condensing and when there is enough for condensation, it falls down at a water droplet. When there are enough water droplets that fall down, it causes rain. Now, environmental scientists also caution against overuse of silver iodide, which can be toxic to aquatic life. In the US, trace amounts have been found in soil after repeated seeding experiments. India, however, has no long-term data yet. As Delhi gasps under a thick layer of smog, this ambitious experiment offers hope, but also raises questions. For more such explainers and analysis, keep watching the Indian Express.